What's up everybody? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I went to Alpha Land in Houston, Texas. So this video is going to be a push day. This is me just showing you the cardio part of the gym. I warmed up walking on the treadmill. This is the overview while on the treadmill. It is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so starting our workout off with our compound movement of bench press. Um, we were doing four sets of six on this day. I started with a decently light weight here, but you can still see I'm working. I'm focusing on my form, pushing it up. Got it. That was pretty easy for me, so we attempted a higher weight for myself. Nick is behind me spotting me. I had not done this weight before, or if I have, it's been a very long time. So he was there, and here is me hitting it. Let's go! I freaking got it up. I was so pumped about it. <laughs> Clearly so is Nick. Moving on to our next exercise. Nick's flexing in the camera. He's such a goof. And here he is hyping me up before my last set. You guys, I filmed my last set of these incline presses. We were just basically doing as many as you could at one weight. So this is me with 25s on each side. So you just rep them out until you physically can't anymore and then you just drop the weight and then we did that a total of I believe three times in this um, last drop set. So here if this is not what your last reps look like you guys you need to increase your weight. Here's me dropping the weight. We've got a 10 and a 5 on each side now. <laughs> Clearly I was toasted so Nick helped me out there just with a light spot. He wasn't pulling too hard just to Help me get a few of those extra reps at this weight, but my arms, my chest was just destroyed, as you can see. I am struggling. So then now we've got fives. I guess we did it a total of four times. So now we've dropped down to fives on each side, and I'm repping them out. You guys, this burns so bad, but it's such a great workout. We don't have this machine at our home gym, so... We took full advantage of it. Oh my gosh, I am really struggling here. Nope, failed that one. So we drop it again. No weights on either side. And we're just repping out, really fatiguing those muscles. Yep, I was done and dusted. Yep, not happening. <laughs> I tried. Now we're moving on to a little bit of shoulder work. We are doing lateral raises. We are doing three total drops. So we're starting off at a heavier weight for 12 reps, and then we drop down to a little bit lighter of a weight for an additional 12 reps, and then we burn out with an even lighter weight for our last 12 reps. And this, you guys, is one set. And we did this four times. So it is four times 12, but there are three sets of 12 within one total set. They are very very tiring you definitely start feeling them especially with the lighter weight you know you're really fatiguing those muscles and they're already tired from the heavy weights and now you're just really burning them out getting all those last reps in as easy as it might be with the weight it's way harder after you incorporated heavier weights before them so this is the killer for your shoulders now we're moving into seated Arnold press. We did four sets of 12 with this exercise. As you can see right now, it was Nick's turn. He has amazing form. His shoulders look freaking massive. His biceps, holy shit. So he kicked it off. I believe he's using maybe 25s, 30s. And then I will go, I am using 20s. 15 or 20s, I can't remember now. But I am doing my four sets of 12, really focusing on my slow, controlled movements, working on my form, focusing on my shoulders, pressing the weight up. I love these because they target lots of different areas of your shoulders and upper arms. Here I am starting to get a little bit tired. Yep, this last rep, you guys, this is what yours need to look like or you need to increase your weight. That is what your last rep should be looking like. Then we moved on to overhead barbell press. 
Um, my shoulders were pretty toasted after those Arnold presses, so I went pretty light on these, and as you can see, I was still working hard, still struggling, so I dropped the weight down. We did four sets of six to eight of these, so this is just me pressing the bar, but holy cow, can we just take a second? Thank you, Nick, for zooming in. Look at my back muscles right now, you guys. I'm so proud. Holy gains. So yes, we did the overhead press. I knocked down the weight. Here is Nick. He had no problems adding weight. I think as we went, he continued to add more and more weight onto his overhead press, which is insane. Look how giant his shoulders look. He has boulders. Great form. Slow and controlled. Make sure you're tucking your core under so you aren't arching your back and injuring it. Moving on now, we are doing some chest flies. This machine was probably one of our favorite machines in all of Alpha Land. We do not have this at our home gym and it's incredible. You feel the burn and it's just such a great quality machine. So we are doing chest flies. We did three to four sets of 10. And this is me struggling again on my last rep. Here goes Nick. Yeah, freaking jacked, dude. He has so much weight on his chest flies right now, and he looks great. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Really feeling it in the sides of your chest. This machine is so incredible. It really makes you focus on your form. So I definitely recommend trying it out if you can somewhere. All right, you guys, next up, we have some tricep extensions on the cables. We did four sets of 25 reps. Nick and I like to do higher reps, lower weight on our tricep extensions, just really feeling the burn, burning out those triceps, fatiguing them. A lot of the other exercises we did today also incorporated your triceps, so this is kind of just a little tricep finisher for them. And trust me, by the time you reach 25, you are really feeling that burn. Such a great workout. So here goes Nick. He's crazy for the amount of weight he's pushing through right now for 25 reps, but he's crazy strong. Look at his tricep definition. You can really see them working extremely hard. They look great and He's got great form going to that 90 degrees and then just using straight triceps to pull down. Don't get your shoulders hunched over and start leaning your shoulders to get the weight down. That means it's starting to get a little heavy and you need to lower your weight. Wrapping up our push day today, we are doing some cable face pulls. These are great for your rear delts, the back of your shoulder area. You can see mine working really hard right now. They're popping, which is incredible. I love seeing myself do face pulls because I can really see the definition. So we did four sets of 10 on these and I'm really squeezing on that last one. Make sure that you have your elbows just how Nick has. They're up, you don't pull down, you keep them level and you just really pull towards your face. Really feel the burn. He looks great doing these. He's going nice and slow, really feeling it in those rear delts. And again, we did four sets of 10 with these to finish off our push day. And that is a wrap on our push day at Alpha Land. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.